We'll get to Big Ben in a second, but first, the NBA is back. Celtics, Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo with a chase down block on Jason Tatum. Mm. What do you think? Come on, Jason Tatum. Come on, man. He didn't know what was coming. A little more awareness right there. Go Gadget Arms came from the board. Just saying. Kings Warriors, Kevin Durant comes up with a chase down block of his own on Buddy Heald. I think that one was better. First of all, he threw it in the front row. Yeah, no, that wasn't that better. Wasn't better? No, that wasn't Come better. On, man. Come it on. looks better. Jason Tatum was going better? up for a dunk. But isn't that the thought like, process? Nah. But you, why are you blocking it. it out of I bounds? It. Block it back to your no, teammate? No, it's not the most effect effective, like, but it looks better. Now you don't better. get the ball back. It looks great. Blazers, <laughs> Nets, Yusuf Nurkic. Thunderous dunk here. I'm happy for Yusuf. Because remember last year, he was on the other end of one of those from LeBron James. And he got Jared Allen. That's yeah, that's Jared Allen, don't jump. I know yes, Jared no, Allen likes to contest all of those, those dogs. That's, Come that's on, Jared the beauty Allen. of them. Lakers, Rockets, playoff LeBron. Yep, he's that been activated. That's what you call a mismatch right there. Clint Capella, right there at the high post against LeBron one-on-one. -on -one. That's not going to mm. work out. They'll spread you out. No, no right something at extra him. at the rim on it, too. Eric Gordon, Eric Gordon tried. <laughs> Aaron Gordon tried to get there and uh, wasn't even close. <laughs> Time for drawing a blank. According to reports, multiple Steelers veterans are not happy with general manager Kevin Colbert's praise of Big Ben earlier this week. And with Pittsburgh getting rid of El Bell and AB, the division is anyone's to win. So, Chris, the best team in the AFC North is? I say this with a lot of hesitation and trepidation. But I'm going to go with the Cleveland Browns. Wow! Woo! I take you see why? I take. <laughs> Look, I, lo I love what I saw out of Baker Mayfield last year, but I there is a part of me that wants this, you know, it's still early to crown him. We've seen this happen before, RG3 and Colin Kaepernick, although I do think what Baker does is more sustainable. But uh, I like the, the pieces they have around him. I like the attitude shift that we've seen there. And obviously they played well at the end of the season. So. I'm going with the Browns. Wow, that's an interesting They got to win at some no, point. I tell you what, the <laughs> biggest question I have with the Cleveland Browns is their head coach, Freddie Kitchens. I was in Dallas when he was on Fair. that coaching staff, but this is his first time running the show, so I'll be interested to see how he reacts with that. But I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens, and mm -hmm. I might be a little bit of a homer, but I think their offense with Lamar Jackson as a quarterback, they're a run-first outfit, and I think that complements their defense. They're one of the best defensive and special teams teams in the National Football League, and also keep in mind, they retain John Harbaugh. He's going to be their head coach moving forward. So I trust so how the many championship times you have, uh, Lamar running. He well, can't run 18. No, they're going to scale. They're going to scale that back. And of course, you think with the experience that he's gained, he's going to take a jump from year one to year two as a passer. But I like the Baltimore Ravens. I like what they got going with that group down there. All right, on to the NBA. After a six-day hiatus for All-Star Weekend, there were 12 teams back in action yesterday. So can't see the best performance in the league last night. Steph was. Curry. Oh. Chef Curry was cooking last night, man. 10 of 16 from behind <laughs> the arc. I mean, he opens up everything for everybody else on that team. And so I think when Steph Curry's got it going, that's going to be a tough team to beat. They get a lot of easy looks at the rim. But, I mean, Chef Curry making a 10 point, 10 three-point make game look like it's routine. It's and unbelievable. And he's dunking, too. I know. At that all-star dunk. Is that the, dunk. the first, the second of the season? He had an all-dunking all-star game. That was incredible. <laughs> um... I'm going with LeBron. LeBron was in a playoff game. Steph played the Kings, all right, which, you know, they playing well. There you go. But LeBron was in a playoff game. He brought the intensity. They had to win, and they played a very good Houston team that's in need of some victory. So that was a good win. I'm going with LeBron. He was huge down the stretch, too. All right, the Bucks took down the Celtics 98-97 last night. Giannis and Milwaukee continue their dominance over a very competitive Eastern Conference. So Chris Broussard, the biggest threat to the Bucks in the East is... I love Toronto, but I'm going to go with Boston. And I just think Boston with, you know, Brad Stevens is a very good coach. And Kyrie is arguably the best closer in the game. And they're having issues right now. I mean, Kyrie's been very open in speaking about it. The young guys aren't satisfied with their roles. There's tension there. And they're still playing well. They're still you know, winning in Milwaukee where the Bucks have the second best home record in the league and almost beat them. So 
I think Boston, Toronto's a threat too, but I'll go with Boston as the biggest threat. Yeah, I'm rolling with Boston as well, and it's for all the reasons that Chris just outlined. I think that I, I probably trust the depth on the Boston Celtics more so than the Toronto Raptors or the Philadelphia 76ers. So I, I like where this Boston team is going. They're not there yet. They're still trying to figure it out with Kyrie and Gordon Hayward now being back a part of this team. You know, they missed a lot of last year with injuries, but I do think the minutes that those young guys got in the postseason last year will benefit them this year. So they've got some time to figure it out, but they're trending in the right direction. I think the primary competition in the East for the Bucks is the Baltic Celtics. Oh, Canada. I'm going Toronto. Moving out of the West, the Warriors took down the Kings for their eighth win in ten games. Golden State is on a quest for their third straight championship. So Canty, the biggest threat to the Warriors in the West is? I'm going with the Thunder. I mean, I know Russell Westbrook hasn't been, you know, as productive in terms of being able to shoot the basketball and as a scorer, but he's still finding ways to contribute. And then Paul George is playing at an MVP type level. I mean, if you're going to rank the MVPs right now, I would probably say James Harden, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and then right there in that third slot, I will put PG-13. He's up there. He's been that good. I mean, you can make an argument that he's the best two-way player in the game right that. now. Right. So, I mean, I really like where that team is going right now. I think they're third in the West. Yep. So, I mean, yep. I think it's a situation right now where the Golden State Warriors need to keep their eye on what the Oklahoma City Thunder are doing. That's a good pick for sure. I mean, not only Paul George, but Dennis Schroeder, Steven Adams, Jeremy Grant, they're all having career years. And Russell Westbrook's doing a lot better job of distributing uh, the ball. So I, I like OKC. And, and maybe I'm just being crazy, but I'm going to say the Lakers. <laughs> wow. Wow. Not that they could beat it. Golden State, but if they can get to the seventh seed, I like them over Denver because I like the experience they have. Denver, none of these guys have been deep in the postseason or even there, so I take LeBron over them. And by that point, if they get through that first round, they're going to be on their high horse, and I, I would give them a shot against Houston, who they beat last night, or Oklahoma City. So they can't beat Golden State, but I think they potentially could beat any other team in the West. I like it. You feel the warmth of your hot take. Speaking of LeBron and the Lakers, their playoff hopes are up in the air, but the Kings' movie career is not. With LeBron's media company, company tweeting the release date for Space Jam 2 for 2021. So Chris Broussard, the Space Jam 2 cameo you most want to see is. Well, I want to see Zion in it. Mm, Zion okay. versus LeBron. Zion could be the adversary. How about that? Wouldn't that nice. be something? But but MJ's got to make a cameo, right? MJ has to make a yeah. cameo. Look at him stealing my thunder. Because oh, I was going right there with MJ. He took Zion. He took him with two cameos. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, listen, it's got to be Jordan, right? LeBron is on the record as saying he's chasing after ghosts. Yeah. He compares his career to Michael Jordan, his legacy to Michael Jordan, because he wants to be considered the greatest the game has ever seen. So in the Space Jam 2, you got to see Michael Jordan yeah, making a appearance. I agree. That it's has to happen. <laughs> I'm giving shouts to Kristen Ledlow. Uh oh, TNT really? report. She okay. has been campaigning for like the last decade. Okay, so, here you go. <laughs> coming up, why is James Harden calling out the refs? That's next on First Things First. Truly, she's been campaigning for the last decade. My girl. Love her. Love her. <laughs>